the, the van was a very large, uh, what is it, a UPS van that Sister Karen got donated to the studio that had the Body Mobile Art Studio written on the side. And the back doors opened up and inside was a photo lab. So when you closed the doors, it was closed and you could actually like, you know, work on photography inside. And they actually had cameras that children used to take pictures and then they would um, develop their own f photography. On the sides of the van, they would open up into these long tables. They would, she had it set up so that they opened up into these very long tables with the legs that sat down on the side so that you actually had working spaces for children. And Mike Amesqua on one side would do sculpture, sort of found object sculpture with nails and hammers and pieces of metal and wood. And on the other side I was doing silk screen and there was actually like a silk screen, um, the screen was actually attached to the table so you actually had pulling. And I think I sent you a, a photograph or two of those experiences. So it was a really interesting, um, it was a perfect, I always thought that self-help graphics should stay, it should have stayed with the Body Mobile Arts Studio because, you know, arts education is much easier for funding than just pure arts. Um, uh, the, um, the opportunity for funding, um, the need in the schools and the need of the children was, were really met, everything was met all at once. And we would get, show up at self-help graphics early in the morning and then drive to a school, park in the exterior parking lots, and the kids would be excused from their class, like one class would be excused all week. They would come out and spend an hour with us or more, I think it was even more. And that same class would come back every day for a week, so you actually had a chance to complete a full project. You actually had a chance to go out and take photographs and, and, and fulfill them or you know, develop them, or you actually had a chance to, to design a silkscreen print and do multiple colors, absolutely five colors, on a silkscreen, making posters and posterettes. And, um, let's see. It so must have been nice too for you to get to know the students. Yeah, you got a chance to develop relationships with people, with young children, and with schools. And I worked in just about every uh, school in East Los Angeles. And we even did workshops in like L centers for the elderly, where we would take the Body and Mobile Arts Studio and we'd walk in with all our supplies. And we'd be like, have art class, we'll travel, so to speak. And we did classes in alternative high schools and uh, community centers of all kinds in East Los Angeles over a very long period of time. And uh, there was even a teacher, the one that I'd like to recommend you to, who had a collection of uh, Mexican uh, trajes, uh, uh, dresses, from the different estilos of the different regions. And he did like historical uh, uh, lectures to little kids and brought out costumes to show children what the dressing looked like. So there was really, uh, it was really a fabulous opportunity for children too. I mean, I don't think there's another program like it anywhere. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time since something that sophisticated actually just visited what, uh, what you know, low income underserved children in the community.